Yesterday's Apple event just ended. We've got the M1 Ultra announced. We've got the Mac Studio announced. Of course, I had to get one so I can do my battery of tests and developer-focused content right here. Subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss that stuff. There's already people that have this thing and they've uploaded their benchmarks. We're going to take a look at that right now. How do people get this stuff so fast? I was... I pressed the button really quickly and I... All right, I'm not special. All right, so I've got uh, Geekbench 5 results open. Just a quick review. This is the MacBook Pro 16-inch 2021, the M1 Max Geekbench results, okay? These are the highest ones I found. So we got 1747 for the single core score and 12,233 for the multi-core score. Now this is gonna be either the most boring video you're gonna see or a really exciting video. You can look at it both ways now. I'm gonna show it to you and you can see that here is the Geekbench 5 score for M1 Ultra. And guess what? 24,000 is double 12,000. It's approximately double. It's a little bit less than double, but it's to be expected, right? And that's what I meant by pretty boring. This is a really nice score. 24,055 is equivalent to some of these Intel Xeon Gold machines. Linux, 40 cores, by the way, the M1 Ultra has only 20 cores. This is a 40 core machine and it's a server processor. So you're getting that in a tiny little box like this big. And this is a server machine that has that kind of score. And look at the single core score. The ultra single core score blows that one out of the water more than double the single core score of that Xeon processor. Other ones that are in that range, AMD Ryzen Threadripper 3970. There's other server ones here and AMD Epic, which are some of the highest scoring Geekbench results here in this data set. So we're in that range of performance here for multi-core. Now, single core is higher than all of these for the M1 Ultra, which is pretty incredible. Now, if we take a look at what they compared it to at the keynote, they compared it to the 12th generation Intel. This was the um, Core i9-12900K, if we take a look at those results for Geekbench, here we go. Uh, so here's a lower end one, but here is a higher end one. The multi-core score is quite a bit lower. It's 20,000, not 24,000, but the single core score is higher. That's a pretty nice single core score right there. And this was uploaded today. I'm gonna get this in here. I'm gonna test this out. I already have the Mac Studio on order with the M1 Ultra chip inside. I've got a new, Ugh. I've got a new 12th generation MSI machine over here, which we'll test out. And I also want to test out the GPU performance for machine learning because they claim that it's going to be faster than the 3090. Now, as for specific breakdowns for all the different tasks that this can do, let's have a look here. So we're back on uh, Mac 13,2. That's the model number of the Mac Studio. Here is the chip. It says it's an Apple M1 Ultra, one processor, 20 cores. The base frequency is 3.22 gigahertz, and we've got a memory of 128 gigabytes for this particular test. Single core performance results. Let's see, uh, HTML5, 1738, SQLite, 1430, Clang is 1792. Machine learning is a score of 1262. Okay, let's compare that to the Intel machine here. I'm gonna open this up. Now this one has a memory of 32 gigabytes DDR5. So a lot less RAM. Let's have a look at some of these other numbers here. SQLite is 1735. It's about the same, I think. Machine learning is 1653, much higher. Okay, those are single core. Let's take a look at multi-core tests now. The total again for the M1 Ultra is 24,000. The total for the Intel i9 is 20,000, about there. HTML5 for M1 Ultra is 21,957. HTML5 for Intel is 23,000. So higher score there. Clang, clang, rattle, bing, bang. Okay, clang is 25,280. And clang for Intel is 24,885. They're very, very close here, folks. And finally, machine learning multi-core. Really curious about that one is 13,795 versus Intel's 8,160. Big difference over there. That's Geekbench. Now, of course, real results will be discovered. We're gonna do some testing right here on this channel. So do hit that subscribe button. Also hit that like button if you like this kind of video. 
and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, folks.